my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a moving vlog <laughs> before y'all say it before y'all say it wait a second let me explain hey y'all happy new year my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so yes this is going to be the start of my new moving series so i guess this will be moving series four on my channel four on my channel um this will definitely i don't care i know i didn't say this before in the past but i promise you this will be my last move I'm not playing this whole process leading up to finding an apartment and like getting approved and stuff like that has been the worst like the most stressful process of my entire life probably so <clears throat> let's get into it straight to the point if you don't want to see this part this is really an update for like my returning subscribers if you're new to my channel i would like for you to stay and watch this part to kind of like understand what's going on here because i do have three other series prior to this but yeah i would like for you to listen to this part really quickly and then we're going to jump into like the packing process and stuff like that so obviously you guys know before i moved here i had a two bedroom two bath apartment but it really wasn't luxury per se so i wanted something more upscale a little bit more luxury so this apartment definitely met that like i got a fireplace i got a bluetooth vanity mirror in my bathroom like you can go watch this vlog to like look at this apartment if you don't know where i live so i got my luxury apartment period okay cool so i'm here living everything's good honestly the apartment like i really don't have any complaints the number one reason why i'm moving is because i need more space um i know when i moved from my two bedroom i said i missed the coziness feel of a one bedroom i really did but people grow we grow i grew um i have a lot more stuff i now have my own business of selling raw hair so i've been needing a lot of space for like all my shipping supply my business desk like all my business stuff and it's kind of like overflowing in my one bedroom so the number one reason why i am deciding to move is because i need more space i need that extra bedroom still so that's the main reason the second reason is because i'm really tired of the construction y'all know my last apartment it was construction going on i cannot deal i'm a night shift worker i sleep during the day they are doing construction out here from seven o'clock they're supposed to stop at five o'clock but sometimes they be out here until like six seven o'clock and i have video proof to prove that <laughs> so that's annoying but i mean it's not really just a deal breaker obviously the construction isn't going to last forever um and I mean, I've been dealing with the construction for about six to seven months now. So that's what I'm saying. It's really not that big of a deal. I've learned to kind of sleep through it at this point. But that's a reason too. <laughs> um, and the third main reason is because this apartment complex is really, really money hungry. And they like to micromanage. So by being money hungry is no one knew they was about to build these apartments. And then out of nowhere, boom tearing down our trees and about to start building more apartments which cool okay whatever but they're building them so fast that like my apartment isn't like a hundred percent like top notch like there's some stuff that went wrong in my apartment if you remember that vlog where my whole shower door like fell <laughs> so stuff was not put together right but anyways every single month i've had some type of fee on my account whether it be like we got a valet trash service so if you don't put in your trash can before nine o'clock in the morning then basically you're gonna get a 50 dollar fine okay cool they give no warning no anything every single time a 50 dollars right off the bat and y'all know i work night shifts sometimes i don't like i don't leave work until you know seven something get some breakfast do this do that like you know life happens and they don't care like they don't want to hear any excuses they don't want to they don't work with you like they're just not really i don't think they're like a people person you know like especially the new manager here just do not like him at all like really not fond of him so <laughs> that's another reason why i'm moving because they charge fees for everything i was mopping my floor put the trash can outside of my balcony they saw it literally charged me 50 dollars because we have no carpet so i'm mopping my entire floor doing a deep clean and then y'all want to charge me 50 dollars for putting the trash can outside for maybe like 10 minutes like i swear to you they will charge you for any and everything out here 
piggybacking off of that is there's no parking i will probably put in video overlays and stuff like that of what i'm talking about like the construction the way they're building the new apartments is literally right in front of us right in front of the parking spots we have no parking i literally got a text from my manager last week my boyfriend was here he parked in the front which is strictly for residents okay cool but there is literally no other parking and he literally was parking there just until another one freed up so he parks right there i get a text akira can you please tell your guests to move how do you know it's my guest first off like why are y'all watching me so much you know and i'm walking on the sidewalk with my dog and then he's like oh hey you know you're from apartment blah 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 and i'm like how do you know that like obviously they know who lives here but it's like how do you just specifically know where everybody stay and it's just a whole bunch i can get into about that but the number one reason i'm moving is because i do need more space okay my new apartment is going to be a two bedroom two bath i'm going to have a obviously master bedroom with the closet and stuff so i'm going to have a closet in my room in the guest room and i'm also going to have like a big kind of like coat closet at the door and i'm also going to have a patio storage so it's four different storage areas that i can store things and then i'm also going to have a full on room to be my business office in my like youtube studio room so as you can see i'm literally recording in my living room sometimes i just gotta record anywhere like i have i don't have a designated spot to record like when i gotta do sit down portions sit down videos try out try on hauls anything like that i don't have space and then obviously like the dog and it's it's just a lot i've outgrown this place i have no more space to do anything in here with so with that being said you guys can see the boxes behind me I did go ahead and already go to Home Depot and I bought eight boxes. It was like $17 and some change with tax. Um, I went ahead and bought boxes this time around. I've never bought in boxes before. I usually get them from my job, my mom's job. Someone usually gives me boxes, but I wanted to go ahead and buy the size medium because the ones at my job, they're not really guaranteed. And the ones that I get from my job, I'm going to show you, they're not really a good size like they're either huge or small sometimes i'll get lucky and get like a medium box but they're usually just not the right size so i did get about four or five boxes for my job this is what our gowns come in for when we got to dress dress out for contact patients and stuff so this is how big this box is it's definitely long but it's not that deep so stuff like this is what i put my bathroom items in and like makeup some of the things that you don't want to break like a lot of my glass items so i don't have like a big box of glass it'll be kind of like a smaller box of glass so this box obviously isn't about to hold much of anything like this is how big this is compared to this one so that's why i went ahead and went to home depot to buy that i bought a few other items that i'm going to go ahead and show oh, you yeah. anything that i say i got from amazon will be linked down in my amazon storefront this box cutter is from amazon and then to make this move since the move like process like the actual approval part and finding an apartment and stuff like that was so tedious and so stressful for me i didn't want me moving out to also mimic that so i want this move to be as stress-free as possible and as smooth as it possibly can go so from amazon i bought this two pack of rolling dollies um I saw this one girl on YouTube, her brother had helped her move, and I saw the brothers, they were using these little rolly dolly thingies. So mine came in a two pack for like $40. Um, hopefully they're pretty sturdy. So I'm going to be upstairs again in my new apartment. So with my couch, I'm going to wrap that up and everything. Instead of my boyfriend and his friends and stuff and my friends like just carrying it, because I got to go down like a hallway to get to my apartment um they can just put the couch on this and just roll it into the apartment and like down the hallway so i bought these hopefully these help um honestly like the guys they can like stack boxes on top of one another and like just wheel it in so i think these will come in handy um i probably won't keep these um you know amazon you can return stuff so as long as they're not like too dirty and stuff like that i might honestly return them after i move because i don't really see myself actually really using these again so yeah i may do that um yeah i don't think i don't think i'm gonna need these again for anything and plus i have a washer and dryer like my own washer and dryer so that's gonna be pretty heavy and that's why i kind of wanted to minimize the stress on them and 
all of that so this one is what i'm gonna wrap everything in i decided to get a big roll of stretch wrap it's 15 inch wrap with a pair of handles and i think it's like 1200 feet long this is how it looks easy grip two-sided i am going to be wrapping my bed like not my mattress but my actual like bed frame and the platform and all of that i'm going to be wrapping my couch and my dresser and everything that i don't want you no know, damage and no scratches and stuff on so i already had a little bit of this little wrap i just call it saran wrap but plastic wrap I bought it last year but i didn't use it because i bought it kind of at the last minute and they already put everything on a u-haul so this time i wanted to be so prepared and i got this big old thing of plastic wrap so i believe you just put these in like this oh child and then put this side in <sighs> oh honey all right and then i'm literally just gonna wrap everything <laughs> and the other thing that i got today from amazon isn't really specifically to help me move it's something that i want to put up in my apartment once i move um and i wanted to go ahead and open this to make sure everything's in here and everything is right instead of waiting until i move and then having to reorder this if something didn't deliver correctly so i finally went and bought a ring doorbell i'm super excited i've been wanting a ring doorbell for a minute so i just got the ring doorbell this is the um this is the one that doesn't need a wire so this is the one that like run off batteries or whatever and then i decided to go ahead and get the one that you put on your door like that and this is the one where people can't steal it so i'm super excited i'm obviously not going to set it up here at my new place um because i am going to be moving out in like four or five days so i'm super excited to put this together it's gonna be like the first thing i do on wednesday and yeah that's my little amazon haul now we're about to get into packing and then i'll kind of explain some more stuff on probably voiceover as i'm packing so you guys can really understand kind of what's going on this is how my vanity looks um basically basically what i'm going to be packing excuse me it's everything that's in these drawers but that's what i was thinking like should i really take everything out the drawer or should i just leave everything in the drawer you know <laughs> and just because the, there's wheels on here so it can be rolled and then like two guys or maybe my like depending on if i pick this up and it's gonna have to be two of us but if like my boyfriend or whatever they can just pick this up and then i can just like saran wrap this you know so I think that's maybe what I'm going to do. But like this stuff right here, I'm going to like pack and put into something. I am going to take out my everyday like makeup routine because I did throw on like a little bit of stuff today. So yeah, I'm just going to get to packing. I'm going to pull out the makeup that I would wear like on an everyday basis. And then I'm going to take down the rest of all of this stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Like I don't think I want to take everything out of here because that's going to be a lot especially because like everything already organized but here's the thing i don't know if i'm still going to even use this vanity because i'm going to have my own um like guest bathroom and so like all of this stuff can just go in the guest bathroom but for the time being i honestly think i'm just probably going to tape the drawers closed and saran wrap this because once they take it up the stairs they literally can just roll it into my apartment so that's what i'm going to do
the roll that I bought last year that I used maybe just a little bit of. So stuff like this, and I'm about to dump this whole thing out and literally, you know, pack this. So I'm about to saran wrap it. got these for my own business but these are free on the USPS website and I got at least 50 of these so since these are bubble in the inside what I'm gonna be doing during this move is cutting these in half so it can be like this so bubbles and I'm going to line this box with this
y'all today is i noticed i didn't close out the other day today is tuesday <clears throat> april 11th it is 10 o'clock in the morning right now don't mind my hair it's crazy um i didn't do anything to it but just unwrapped it today but i woke up this morning i've been up since like 5 30 so i went to my parents house got some boxes that my mom got for me and then i got my totes let me turn this around so right here these are all the boxes that my mom has so i'm glad i didn't buy any more these two boxes are still well this one box i have to fill and then i have three more home depot boxes and then my mom got me all of these and then those are three totes down there so today for my little moving plan list um i called into work yesterday <laughs> and then sunday i literally didn't pack anything so i still have my kitchen to finish my living room bathroom literally everything so today i did pack the dog stuff yesterday though or last night so i need to mark that off so i did my vanity stuff the dog stuff um right now i think i'm going to work on my office stuff and packing up my business stuff to kind of get that out the way and then i'm going to start working on my clothes i also went to take oreo to my parents house because he follows me around like crazy prince do too sometimes but prince he'll just chill and kind of do his own thing oreo on the other hand he literally follows you at the back of your heels and does not let me do anything so i took him to my parents house so he over there having fun with grandma and grandpa okay period and then i got prince here just because you know usually sometimes be a lot with two dogs so i didn't want to just throw both dogs over there on them like that so i kept prince this time and took oreo the past two times i used to take prince to my parents house and then i would keep oreo so we kind of like rotated this time so yeah i'm gonna try to get a lot done like i said it's only 10 o'clock um, I also took this from my mom's house, from my parents' house, a little shower caddy. Y'all, why did my mama buy like 10 of these? She said they were on sale for like a dollar or two. Why did she buy 10? What what could she possibly be using this for? <laughs> so they're just all sitting in the guest bedroom at their house. But I decided to put my cleaning stuff in here. Tomorrow I'll go to the apartment, get my keys, pay the rent, stuff like that. So I just put all of my essential cleaning stuff in here because I don't know about y'all, but when I move, even if they said they cleaned, I'm still gonna clean. So these are like the cleaning products I got. I got a big thing of Lysol in the bag. I'm also gonna be taking my vacuum cleaner, my Swifter mopper and the Swifter like sweeper. So we're gonna get to clean it tomorrow. But for today, I don't wanna bore you guys too much because I think when I was editing this vlog, I already had like 25 minutes of just packing the kitchen and stuff alone. So I'm just about to show a little bit more bit, a little bit more bits and pieces of me like packing up the rest of the place. So I'm about to go ahead and start on, like I said, all of my business supplies, like the shipping stuff, and then all of like the office stuff, school stuff, anything like that. I'm gonna start packing. I'm also gonna put that in a tote. I find that putting it in a tote is a little bit more secure, and it doesn't really like. It isn't too heavy when I put all that stuff in the tote. So I'm about to move all these boxes out the way and put them to the side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps were the facts, and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got a little Max with me. This literally still has the label from when I moved like last year. School stuff, and it says heavy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep it at that. This is all the stuff that I'm gonna be packing for my like office supplies. And then all the stuff under here. And then the rest of my office stuff will be everything that's over here. So this little office stuff, just all of this. This is like office and business. I'm not taking none of this out. This is all my, my inventory and stuff. So I'm just gonna tape these and then I'm gonna plastic wrap all of that 
and then this is the rest of my business stuff so i'll probably just pack all this into a box because i want these cubicles clear and then this is my hair like this is the hair that i had in my head um i just shampooed and conditioned it and it is back to its original texture i had this hair in since january and it literally looks as good as new so i was just letting it air dry so i'm going to be taking this rag down and everything and then we're going to start on doing these clothes when I die, put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love on good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money out in cave. This little box I found it like Burlington, I think, or TJ Maxx, one of them. Just says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3 5. This is what I keep sunglasses and other little delicate stuff in. This is literally just a random box. I just liked what it had said. But these aren't really my colors anymore. Like, I'm not trying to have pink anything. But this is a jewelry box. So I'm just going to put that in here. Let me see if I can just sit this down in here. To do. So, that's that. All right, so these shoes is on the back of my door. I'm about to put in this big box right here. So all loose shoes is gonna go in this box. I have some loose heels right here. Um, I'm also gonna put all of my purses in there. I'm gonna stack the purses on top. And then my hats is also gonna go in that same box. And that should take up Dana in this whole box probably. If it doesn't, then I will just add Maybe I'll add some shoe boxes in there, hell. <laughs> and then we'll just stack that up. These can be thrown out. I don't know why I'm keeping these freaking Toms. Like, I haven't worn Toms since I was in high school. Maybe I wore these like freshman year of college. So that's like 2016, 2015. Like, girl. <laughs> why am I still hanging on to these beat up Toms? Like, they are dirty. I don't even know. Like, does anybody wear Toms? Comment down below if you still wear your Toms. Girl, this just ain't the, I, don't, I can't even fit these no more, child. <laughs> yeah, these are going in the trash. I can't even put them on my foot. This is when my foot used to be like really, really skinny and had no meat on my bones. So yeah, I can't even put it on my foot. So these are trash. Akira, give them in the trash. So that's trash pile. These heels are actually my best friends, but whatever. All right. These sandals are from Charlotte Roos. Like, am I really gonna ever wear these again? Like, why do I have this? I need to go sandal shopping though, because you know, summer is coming up. 
<clears throat> and girl, I need some more like flip flop sandals and stuff like that. I can still fit them, but they just beat down. Like Kira, you ran them bag shoes. These are still <clears throat> in pretty good shape. It's just they're really, really flat, but I'll keep them, I may need them. These I will probably never wear again. Charlotte Russe. Is that store even still open? They closed ours down. Said they went bankrupt. So, I don't know. Let me see if I can fit these. I may take these to play though. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> I may take these to play those. Cause these are still in pretty good. Oh, these are in pretty good shape, honey. It's just, who, who's really still wearing shoes like this though, you know? Maybe I can wear them and keep them for church. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them for church. You never know. I'm definitely gonna keep, don't care how dirty they are. Got these from Payless when I used to work there in like 2018. So I absolutely love these. These shoes withhold anything, you know, you know. Take these to play those because I don't even like, I'm not wearing these again. I got them because Rihanna, but you know. These from my photo shoot, but can't fit them. Got them from Shein and they're like a size too small. So I'm about to take these to play those too. Okay, so I am cutting up those mailers again like I did previously in the video. I am putting that over my glass. I'm putting that over kind of the sensitive pieces and the sensitive spots of my furniture to kind of protect that. So with doing that, I am also wrapping it in the plastic wrap. This particular plastic wrap is from Walmart. So I wrapped it in that and then I'm also going to be unscrewing this, taking the top off, and then I'm going to have the pieces separate so it can be moved really easily because I don't want to put the whole thing into like the moving U-Haul or whatever like that. Wanted to be as careful as possible this time. Um, I also wrapped a blanket over the glass just to protect it and I honestly may just transport this glass in my car like in the trunk and just be really really careful with driving and stuff and then put more blankets on the bottom and the top of this so I think I'm going to be transporting all the glass in my apartment just to be on the safe side just like this one take the glass off I'm going to also I'm not going to wrap that one because that one's pretty small I'm just going to put it in a blanket then moving on to this finally figured it out okay period talk to me nice <laughs> so after i wrap this one in plastic wrap i am taking the same bubble mailer taping it to the corners um the corners usually are the places that get hit and scratched up the most and with putting this on the bottom it kind of gives it a cushion to where i can like easily slide it around the room so i feel like this will help the moving process and make it so much easier Y'all know every time I move, I always do the trash bag trick. So I have five right here. We're gonna see how many trash bags it takes to load up <laughs> all my clothes. I'm gonna start from winter clothes, which is back here, and then come all the way up here, which I do got some jackets and stuff up here, but I'm gonna start from the back and then come up because these clothes are a lot thinner. So if I need to, I can just fold these up and throw these in a box because I will be taking my clothes to the apartment tomorrow, so I'm gonna immediately take them out as well. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I have five bags. I forgot to get some big bags for my job, 
so that I could only probably use like three. But we want to see how many I can fit in these. So update, it is 6.29 in the afternoon. I took a little like two hour nap. So, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, I look ridiculous. I probably throw in my wig tomorrow because baby, I just can't, <laughs> like my hair is not done. But I just went and kind of cleaned out my car. I'm about to go ahead and put these clothes in my car to have it ready and packed for tomorrow morning this stuff down here i'm about to go through um i am gonna have like a big bag to take the play-dohs but some of this stuff i've been taking like two and three times and they haven't did anything with it so the rest of the stuff i'm just going to throw out in these wig boxes like one two three <laughs> four five six seven eight nine ten and then i got another one out there um i'm about to try to consolidate that and only have like maybe four of those and then once I get these clothes and stuff out of here, I feel like that'll free up a lot of space. The next thing that I'm going to put in my car. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I kind of want to go ahead and take my living room TV. Um, it's the smaller one. I don't really think I'm going to buy another TV because I don't really sit in my living room. But... If my living room was like more cozy, then I probably would see in it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take that TV probably and put that in my back seat. Or I could wait to take the TV and then just load up all the other stuff. So I plan to have me, Emmanuel, Josh, and Janae. So that'd be like four cars, maybe three because Josh ain't trying to drive. <laughs> so I don't know. That's what I'm trying to plan and see. Because if I put my TV in my car, then I'm going to have to use somebody else's car to put all the other stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, these two boxes right here are closed. That's all of my purses, accessories, and stuff like that. So, I'm definitely going to need some more cars <laughs> to put all of this stuff in. Because mine isn't going to fit all of this. Um, I'm about to go ahead and load up my clothes, like I said. And then, whenever they get over here then I'll load up their cars for whatever I can fit, honestly. So my plan for my shoes, um, I'm gonna keep them in the shoe boxes for right now. I know people, it's either you like to keep shoe boxes or you don't, there's really no in between, I feel like. And I happen to be one of the people that actually keep the shoe boxes. Um, in the new place, I don't know, I'll see if there's like a way that I can maybe buy some extra storage or I may keep them in the guest room or something. But for right now, I'm going to keep them in the shoe boxes until I kind of find a way that I would like to store them. Like I seen this one cool thing on Amazon to where it's like a swivel type thing and you just put the shoes in there. Like it takes up less space because it's kind of like in a circle and you just spin it around. <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> And some of those are heels like I think I'm gonna try to find some cool cute way to like display my heels or something but for right now what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take these boxes stack up about um four or five and then I'm just gonna like plastic wrap them so literally they're like stuck in place so like these four Nike ones I'm gonna take wrap a saran wrap and just do it like that instead of wasting a box because they're already in a box and I mean I don't really have too many more boxes to be wasting. <laughs> and I think it'll be more efficient to actually put them, cause like these boxes are small, like these ain't about to hold none of that. And then even, I can put some in here. I don't have a top for this one. So I mean, they're just shoes. So I feel like this will be okay for some of them. I'll probably put, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna stack a few in here fill this up and then we can just take this bin but i think it'll be more space saving like in the car wise because i'm not gonna have a u-haul or anything tomorrow this is just me and my friends cars like just regular cars and really they're not big enough for all this like we ain't got no suv and no truck right now 
So I'm going to put these smaller Nike boxes, um, my Pumas, and like some of the small heel boxes right there, those white ones. I'm going to go ahead and put those in that little tote. And then the rest, like I said, I'm just going to stack about four or five up, how they already stacked. Saran wrap them, plastic wrap them, and we're good. Plastic wrapping all of my shoes, I stacked it up in a tier of five boxes. This literally made my move so much easier. Just moved all these boxes yesterday. Girl chef's kiss definitely do this with your shoe boxes it makes it so much easier and it protects all of them so they don't tip over you'll see me kind of show you and test it out good morning um i am now in my new apartment as you can see it kind of looks a little bit different behind me okay period um if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave don't know if I'm starting this as a new vlog or putting this into one, but whatevs. We're here. Um, I kind of wanted to, well, I'm here. It's 10.02 in the morning. I got here at like 8, about like 8.30, and then I got in here within like 30 minutes. So pretty quick um, little transition, I guess. Um, I did bring my cleaning supplies, my everything that I need, and then also they give you a checklist to fill out, I got 48 hours to return this, to tell whatever is, you know, broken or anything needs to be fixed, any scratches, bumps, dumps, whatever, you write up on there. And then she also gave me the stuff to set up for my alarm system and everything like that. So just all the setup stuff. Um, you won't be seeing the apartment in this vlog. I know y'all gonna be mad. But the vlog that'll be out on Sunday will be my empty apartment tour. I plan to post this vlog that you're watching on Thursday. So tomorrow, um, Wednesday the 13th. I mean, Thursday the 13th. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know I'm in here. I am, after I end this vlog, I am literally about to start recording for the next vlog. I'm about to show me cleaning the apartment and stuff like that. Um, it is 10.03, so I really only got an hour to like clean as much as I can because I do got to go meet with the cardiologist. Um, at 11.15, which is only like five minutes up the road, but hopefully I'm not in there for a while so that I can come back and like finish cleaning and then go to the old place and pack my car up again. So I had all of this stuff in my back seat and then in my trunk, I got like five bags of clothes that I gotta bring up. So yeah, it just, it's an echo obviously, echo, <laughs> but it just already feel like home. I know, I know, I know y'all be, Da, 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 whatever yes i move every year i don't care say what you want i don't care it's my money i'm living here that's what i thought but this one i already you know walked through prayed over the apartment in the apartment about the you know just all of that um i do hope this will be home for the next couple years until you know i get a house or whatever me and bae eventually get married and stuff like that so this one is more than enough space getting y'all a little sneak peek or whatever but like I said, I am in a two bed, two bath, like everything is, is just big in here. So I have a lot more space to work with. So super excited. Um, yeah, I think this video should already be pretty long enough. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for the support and the love. And I already know you guys, congratulations and stuff is in the comments. <laughs> and I know there's gonna be the ones that say, you know, I move all the time. Literally one of my Instagram friends and said, you move every month, whatever, mind your business. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to say I'm happy already. Um, I'm feeling it. I'm about to get to cleaning. I literally got a mop, vacuum the floors, and like just do everything, so. Into my next video, y'all will probably be seeing me in my apartment, empty apartment tour. That'll be up in a few days. So don't forget to like this video. It helps me out a lot. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already by this time, girl. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.